Hi guys, today I want to show you, uh, you know, how we proceed, uh, what is the status of the OpenRF uh, VTX timing system combined uh, uh, with the FPV race tracker. So first, you know, as, as you know it, uh, you just need to connect, connect the hardware with the FPV race tracker. As you can see here, you will find the port, you know, just clicking so the system is connected then to the hardware uh, uh <coughs> what you can do you know you can uh, you can scan or type in instead of the transponder id uh, the name so it's called player 4 but let us scan it and then you will see how it works you can type it in manually or just scan it let me switch on let me switch on my quad. As soon the VTX is switched on, you can see, you know, uh, in this case I'm on channel 3. So by setting uh, this line, you know, you will see I'm on channel 4 uh, going down until I catch it like that one uh, click on scan and automatically appears uh, on the pilot so the pilot open rf pilot one is assigned to player four which comes from the hardware uh, just save it <coughs> just keeping up the line the setting line as soon as you have assigned the pilot uh, to the VTX channel, which is uh, channel 3, you know, I want to show you, you know, how it looks like when you start a race, like this one. Wait a second, need to restart that. <coughs> Not assign, so assign the pilot to heat 1. Uh, start the race. like that one so I'm not flying <coughs> I'm not flying uh, so I'm using you know when you are flying and if you are away the signal is not that much strength so this is what I'm not doing now I'm just changing like the setting line over here and you can see the system is recognizing you know when the pilot is near to the start finish line so just going down again so we have a blocking time that's the reason uh, from five seconds you can't fly through the through the start finish gate during that time so need to wait a bit you know now you can see Open RF pilot one, lap two with 16.8 seconds Open RF pilot one, lap three with so six seconds. You know, uh, the VTX RS, RSSI is reaching a defined peak. The system is recognizing that uh, uh, and is counting um, uh, the lap. So this is how it looks. So this is the, the version one. As you can see here, we will change a lot. Uh, what we are using now is uh, eight channels, like here. You can have it in, you know, seven, six, five, or even one channel. So it's depending. It's pretty. There's not that much magic inside. So we are using the Inno board, the RX uh, receiver. That's all. Uh, and um, <coughs> of course, the firmware we need, which was written by uh, Virtual. He's a, a great, a great guy. He knows a lot about that stuff. So anyway, we will change the antenna a bit, you know, we modified that. Uh, uh, other version will come out with 8RX. So now we are, we are scanning in a loop very fast uh, all channels. So this is working well, but there will become out a, a solution, an open source solution with 8RX. Uh, so predefined channels on there, which uh, has less latency as you know as this one where you you are scanning all the all the channels in the loop uh, yeah that's that's also fast so we keep going with that 
uh, have it ready to as an open source solution for everybody uh, yeah that's it and keeping up development uh, new stuff on that available for everybody so you can build that or ask friends to build it for yourself quite easy uh, and that's all so far so we will keep you updated with everything what is coming next thank you